Hello friends, in my recent YouTube poll, I got 80% votes for making videos on shortcut methods for the concepts of thermodynamics. Hence, in this video, I will be covering the main important concepts and formulas of thermodynamics in comparison format, which often makes confusion among the students. Let's kick them out together. First process, isochoric process or reversible constant volume process. Here volume remains constant and index changed to infinity. Second process isobaric process or reversible constant pressure process in which pressure is kept constant and index is zero. Coming to the next process isothermal process. So here temperature is kept constant and index is obviously one. Now fourth is isentropic process or reversible adiabatic process. This process follows PV raised to gamma equal to constant while entropy remains constant. Here index is gamma which is equal to 1.4. Okay, fifth process polytropic process which follows PV raised to n equal to constant and index is n and the value of index will be in between gamma and 1. Next column is of pressure volume and temperature relations that is PVT relations of these processes. For isochoric process we get PVT relation as P1 by T1 equal to P2 by T2 which is nothing but gale lussacs law equation when volume remains constant. For isobaric process it is V1 by T1 equal to V2 by T2 given by Charles law equation when pressure remains constant. For isothermal process we get PVT relation as P1 V1 equal to P2 V2 that is pressure is inversely proportional to the volume when temperature remains constant which is nothing but Boyle's law equation. Don't worry, I will discuss more on these PVT relations and laws in my next video. The PVT relations for isentropic or reversible adiabatic process in terms of temperature and pressure is T2 by T1 equal to P2 by P1 sorry the denominator is P1 raised to gamma minus 1 divided by gamma and in terms of temperature and volume it is T2 by T1 equal to V1 by V2 raised to gamma minus 1 and in terms of pressure and volume it is P2 by P1 equal to V1 by V2 raised to gamma. Lastly, the PVT relations for polytropic process are same as isentropic process, only index gamma is replaced by index n. These PVT relations are very much important while designing an IC engine or any power plant running on a thermodynamic power cycles like Carnot, Auto, Diesel, Dual, Rankine, Breton or gas turbine cycles. Next column is of work done by these processes for closed systems like auto, diesel, dual cycles. When you will draw the pressure versus volume diagram of these processes, then the area under the PV diagram with respect to volume axis that is x axis will show their work done which is nothing but integration PDV. So PV diagram for isochoric process is a vertical line. So area under the curve is zero, hence work done is zero. And PV diagram for isobaric process is a horizontal line. Hence area under the curve is rectangle, therefore work done is pressure into change in volume that is P V2 minus V1 or we can write in terms of temperature also MRT2 minus T1 due to the characteristics equation PV equal to MRT. Now the formula of work done for isothermal process is P1 V1 ln P1 by P2 or P1 V1 ln P2 by V1 and if you replace P1 V1 by MRT1 from characteristics equation in both the formulas then getting total 4 formulas of work done for isothermal process. These are also derived from integration PDV only. And if we talk about isentropic process the work done is P1 V1 minus P2 V2 divided by gamma minus 1 or you can replace PV equal to MRT to get MRT1 minus T2 divided by gamma minus 1. And lastly, the work done for polytropic process is same as isentropic process but instead of index gamma, the polytropic index n will come. These all work done formulas of processes are for closed systems only, which shows area under the PV diagram about volume or x axis. These all formulas are derived from integration PDV only but not going in derivation part here. Let's see work done formulas of these processes for open systems like gas turbine, air compressor, air refrigeration cycles. So again, when you will draw the pressure versus volume diagram of these processes, then the area under the PV diagram with respect to pressure axis that is y axis will represent their work done. That is integration minus VDP will give work done by these processes. Here negative sign indicates these systems like gas turbine and compressor they requires work done 
while before in case of closed system like auto diesel cycles are work producing cycles hence positive pdv there so pv diagram for isochoric process is a vertical line so area under the curve is not zero but a rectangle because we have to take with respect to pressure axis that is y axis hence work done will be volume into change in pressure and pv diagram for isobaric process is a horizontal line so area under the curve is zero with respect to y axis now for isothermal process after derivation of integration pdv and integration minus vdp comes out to be the same hence work done formulas will remain same for both open and closed system of isothermal process and in case of isentropic work done simply multiply it with index gamma in the formula of closed system work done because work done of open system is gamma times work done of closed system in case of isentropic process similarly to get open system work done for polytropic process simply multiply with index n in the formula of closed system work done because work done of open system is n times work done of closed system in case of polytropic process these all work done formulas of processes are for open systems only which shows area under the pv diagram about pressure axis that is y axis which are derived from integration minus vdp let's see heat transfer during these processes which is area under the curve of temperature and entropy th diagram of respective processes in isochoric process volume is constant hence formula is mcv t2 minus t1 while in case of isobaric process the formula is mcp t2 minus t1 because here pressure is constant now we know first law equation dq equal to du plus dw but in case of isothermal process we know that internal energy is zero that's why the heat transfer will also become same as work done in case of isothermal process hence again same formulas and also we all know that heat transfer in isentropic process is zero that is no heat transfer should take place in case of adiabatic process lastly if we talk about polytropic process the heat transfer is gamma minus n divided by gamma minus 1 times work done of polytropic process let's see another parameter change in enthalpy dh it is mcp t2 minus t1 for all the processes except isothermal because in isothermal process change in enthalpy and change in internal energy all are zero same mcp t2 minus t1 for isentropic and polytropic processes also another column is of change in internal energy so from joule's experiment we get mcv t2 minus t1 for all the processes except isothermal because when heat transfer and work done are same then internal energy has to be zero as per the first law equation same mcv t2 minus t1 for isentropic and polytropic processes also now last column is very much important which is change in entropy during these processes these are derived from entropy tds equations for isochoric it is mcv ln t2 by t1 or mcv ln p2 by p1 for isobaric it is mcp ln t2 by t1 or mcp ln v2 by v1 for isothermal it is mr ln p1 by p2 or mr ln v2 by v1 in isentropic process as name indicates entropy remains constant therefore change in entropy is zero and lastly for polytropic process it is n minus gamma divided by n minus 1 times mcv ln t2 by t1 these five processes are reversible processes let's see some irreversible processes also free expansion and throttling process are most irreversible process please don't get confused between these two processes when expansion happens against vacuum is known as free expansion process and in throttling there is no any vacuum condition simply flow through a narrow opening is throttling process in these processes both enthalpy and temperature remains constant be careful here i am talking about only ideal gases but if you talk about for real gases the temperature may increase or decrease as per their joule thomson coefficient value now because of same temperature don't think like free expansion process is an isothermal process in isothermal process temperature remains constant throughout the process while here only initial and final temperatures are same but in between temperature changes so be careful about this also and remaining parameters like work done heat transfer change in enthalpy change in internal energy are zero for both the processes but change in entropy is not zero which is same as isothermal process I will discuss these formulas also in my next videos. Finally, remember these theory points always, which will be helpful for those exams in which calculators are not allowed, like engineering services, junior engineer, ISRO, and also for technical interviews. First summary point: work done for closed system is zero, and heat transfer is equal to change in internal energy for isochoric process. 
Second summary point, work done for open system is zero and heat transfer is equal to change in enthalpy for isobaric process. Third summary point, work done for open system is equal to work done for closed system and which is also equal to heat transfer and change in internal energy and change in enthalpy is zero for isothermal process. Fourth summary point, heat transfer and change in entropy is equal to zero. Hence work done will be equal to change in internal energy due to the first law equation in case of adiabatic process. Fifth summary point, open system work done is equal to gamma times closed system work done for adiabatic process and open system work done is equal to n times closed system work done in case of polytropic process. Sixth summary point, in case of free expansion and throttling process, dh, dt, dw, dq, du is equal to zero, but ds is not equal to zero. So this was the complete analysis of fire reversible and two irreversible processes in comparison format. Let's see quickly those areas from which questions came in gate mechanical and IES mechanical paper. I am not discussing these questions in this video otherwise length will increase. If you want me to discuss these questions in a separate video then you have to comment down below and more number of likes will tell me to make more such videos. You will find two questions in gate 19 and two questions in ESC 19 paper from this video. So click on the like button and share this video to your friends who thinks thermodynamics is a tough subject. The purpose of this channel is to provide the content in simplest manner. So please subscribe to the channel and finally thanks for watching.